In spite of my outward appearance, I shall try to run a neat in. In today's Christmas review, we're going to be having a look at the Memory Lane Charlie Brown's Christmas Pig Pen. The messiest boy in the world comes included with a cello, innkeeper's costume, and stage display base. The very first thing we'll do is figure out how tall Pig Pen is. I'm just going to put the tape measure next to the top of his spiky hair. There we go. The tape measure tells us that the figure stands 5.2 inches in height, which in then centimeters, let me just switch that over for you, 13.4 centimeters in height. If Pig Pen seems a little tall for you, you're not alone. Here's Pigpen that comes included with the snowman and the figure that we didn't end up looking at again because quite frankly it's the same figure as we gotten before. I just want to move over Pigpen, the one that comes with the cello, and I put regular Pigpen next to it. Now keep in mind, these are from the same figure, for the same lineup. It's from the same company and I could understand if the line was different, separated themselves by like a year or two, that it would justify, of course, why the figures are so different, but no, this is part of the same lineup. And yet one pig pen is considerably taller than the other. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Rest assured, I will go back to that talking point, but when we first have a look at the accessories that come included with this pig pen, we get the same display base as we've seen with the other three figure releases and does have the same spinning turntable. The figure will attach to the top via this peg and you'll be able to dance all the characters. Now, I want you to get a good feel for how exactly that plays out. So I'm gonna take the other display stands that we've already had a look at from the different figures. Now, all of these are identical to one another. They're offset on their little tab points that line up the grooves and you just attach to place like this. It's not really any bit more complicated than that. We'll reach off and we'll grab another one of these. And I suppose the hardest part is actually just lining them up and making sure that they all connect appropriately to the way that they're supposed to be well attached. There's the third one. And last but certainly not least, here's the one that came with Charlie Brown. I mean, I could have easily just said it came with any figure and you guys would just have to believe me. But they're not the, like I said, they're not the easiest because you have to connect the one end and then you have to connect these ends. Just lift that up, slide it in place. I mean, really, they, they didn't necessarily need to have all, all two connectors, like two connectors on either side to line it up because there's always that one that is a problem to try to get into place. Ooh, several hours later, here are the Peanuts characters that we've had a look at. We'll put Frida right there. I suppose you don't necessarily need to put them actually on the stands, connected to the stands, that is. There's Linus. And while, he, while he's here anyways, let's just put Pigpen on there. Although he leans on an angle, we'll talk about that in a second as well. Take the four characters. I suppose I could have put Snoopy on here as well, but you probably would be a little harder to see Snoopy. There we go. Okay, all this set up. <laughs> we're gonna spin the one wheel, and no, we're not gonna make a deal, but I'm gonna spin the wheel and providing none of them fall over, you can see how one wheel basically controls all the other wheel mechanisms, allowing each of the characters to spin. I suppose in some way it does look like they're dancing. Okay, it doesn't look like they're dancing. It looks like they're just spinning around on turntables, but at least it's something. It's a lot more interesting, I have to say, than the snowy display bases that came with the other figures. 
display stands aside. The other accessories that come included with this pig pen is his cello. A very large cello, unfortunately omitted any paint there on the front strings, but at least at the very top, the adjusted uh, little adjusted dials there are painted in black. It's got a lot of dirt, dirt on there. I mean, it's just all these little scratches of gray, but to give you the indication that that is in fact Pigpen's cello. He also comes included with his costume, which is kind of sort of the same thing as Frida. Would I ever display him with it? Not necessarily no, but at the very least there's something to come included with him. I just don't feel the need to add a fabric outfit to it because I think it detracts from the fact that they're all plastic figures. This one you can clearly see, or let me just put them side by side. It does look like they're also the same shirt. One obviously is green, one is obviously yellow, and this one obviously has a whole lot of extra brown on it too. So you know right off the bat which one is pig pens. I'll just put those to the side because they're never going to make appearances on these figures. What may make an appearance on pig pen is his cello, although it's very difficult to get into his hand. Being the way that his hands are clamped, obviously you can tell this is way too thick and his hands aren't gripped well enough. So really what you have to do is just sort of wedge. I embarrassingly just kind of lay it onto his hand. You just wedge it over top of his hand and then just pray that it stays in place. I have sometimes better success than other times, but uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty weak sauce, I have to admit, that this is the way that they wanted you to display it. Like I said, he holds it, but he doesn't so much hold it as his limbs sort of serve as, as something that just sticks out and you're resting it on it. I could rest that on a coat hanger. It's basically the same thing. I'm resting it on top of his arms. So it doesn't really serve the purpose as well as I think it should have. Maybe this could also be the reasoning why they changed his body so drastically. Let's talk a little bit about that now. So I'm just gonna put the cello over here. I'm just not gonna play much of a role moving forward, but I'm gonna bring in once again the pig pen that came included with the snowman. The one that I was going to re-review, but then it occurred to me later, I'm like, nobody's really going to want to watch a second video of the same figure. Here, this one came with the snowman. It came also with the snowman when it was packaged with Lucy, Schroeder, and of course the psychiatrist table. And that's the reasoning why I didn't do a second review of it. But the strange thing is, for starters, I don't even know why they would have given us two Schroders or two pig pen. The figure comes in the same lineup for 2004. One end of it had, of course, the snow backgrounds, the snow display bases. And there were six of those figures, Charlie Brown, Linus, pig pen, Sally, Lucy, and Schroeder. I don't know why then Memory Lane would have given us a second pig pen of the same wave. I could see if maybe Pigpen made it into a later wave, but could they not have also used some other of the characters? Why did they have to go back to the, the same real idea pot to pull out another Pigpen when really one Pigpen would have perfectly been fine? In fact, whoop, I'm not really going to literally throw it. Pigpen could have just been omitted altogether from the snow display base that came with, of course, the snowy snowman, and instead he could have just come with the cello to start off with. The cello also, I think, fits a little bit better scale-wise to this uh, pig pen versus the other one. Now, this one also has the posable in the feet, the posability feet. This one does not. If you look at it, this almost looks like it's a knockoff for the fact that it's omitted some of the articulation in the lower half. Also, the colors are drastically different. The head sculpts are similar enough. I guess you could say, I guess you could say the markings are a little darker on this one than on this one right here, but they seem to be in the exact same placement. So it's probably something that's printed on rather than somebody manually going in there and scratching in all the little dirt on his face. But the head sculpts look like they're identical. The hair also looks identical, but I think this is the better looking figurehead. It just doesn't make sense to me why they would have to give you two pig pen and two completely different bodies. This one here also, you look at it, it leans backwards. For his feet to be flat, his body leans back. Doesn't make any sense. They've left off all the posability in his feet, instead just giving him a waist swivel. I don't understand why. 
it seems like they almost just like scaled him down. And not unless their logic was, well, we're going to be giving him a cello. We want him to have some stability. Then in, that would obviously acknowledge for the fact that they even think that their own figures don't have proper stability in their legs. But I don't feel like that's even the reasoning at all either. It feels almost just as if they rushed the figure for no reason whatsoever. They, well, we just quickly throw out something, but we already had a pig pen. We really didn't need a second one. Despite for the fact that his face does look better than this one right here, the rest of the body just screams very basic and very cheap to me. There's the pegs on the undersides of his feet, by the way. And we'll just move this one. Just one last glance, both on the height, this one a lot taller, and again, like the body. It keeps the same posability in the arms, although the sleeves are longer on the original, or the snow one versus this one. I think the brown looks better on this one, to be all honest. And his feet, again, are a little bit different. This one has the posability. Makes no sense. I don't know. Speaking of posability on this guy, his head rotates all the way around. His waist also rotates all the way around. You won't get anything in the way of the legs here. The arms rotate technically all the way around, but really only back and forth. They swivel at the forearm and they swivel at the hand. I honestly thought after looking at Frida, slightly a little disappointed by how Frida turned out, I really thought I was going to go out on a really high note looking at Pigpen. I was really happy with the way that the other Pigpen looked, but now putting the two side by side, I feel like Pigpen ultimately, not this one, this one was good. This one here ultimately ended up being the worst of all the Peanuts characters from a Charlie Brown's Christmas. I just don't know what Memory Lane was planning to have two Pigpen in the exact same wave and then to give us completely different bodies makes absolutely no sense to me. With this now wrapping up the Memory Lane Charlie Brown Christmas figure reviews, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. I've certainly enjoyed it, except for the last figure. Thinking I was going to go out on a high by looking at Pigpen, one of my favorite figures from the first snow-based characters that we looked at, I end up ultimately going out on a low disappointed by what Memory Lane ultimately gave us here with this pig pen, giving us not even the same figure, but a cheaper, more basic version of pig pen makes absolutely no sense to me. To get a wave of figures with two identical, almost identical characters makes no sense. I know we got Charlie Brown, but Charlie Brown had an outside outfit and he also had the inside regular yellow striped shirt. I don't know why we couldn't have at the very least got ourselves another Linus. We got an outside Linus. Why couldn't we have gotten a Linus in the red outfit that he's known for, the red sweater? But ultimately we got this cheap sort of a carbon copy, and not even a carbon copy, a lesser copy of Pigpen. Sure, he comes with his cello, which he doesn't really hold properly, and he comes with the display base that I actually like these bases. I think they could have easily swapped this guy out for any number of other characters. Maybe like those twins, or maybe that yellow topped guy that just kind of bobs his head back and forth. There could be a lot of other examples that they could have included. Why, oh why, did we get ourselves another pig pen? Leaving, unfortunately, this series on a bit of a low. I hope you guys again have enjoyed it, and stay tuned, because of course we're going to have a look at some more. I say of course, you guys you don't really know. I mean, I'm just telling you. We're going to be having a look at some more Christmas videos coming up. I know we're kind of a couple of days away at the time that I'm shooting this video. It's not really a whole lot of time. But rest assured, I'm going to try my best to still get a lot of these Christmas videos shot because I already know the stuff that I want to get done. It's just a matter of getting the time in there to do it. Between that, still doing some last minute Christmas shopping. Yeah, that, that's me. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff lined up for myself, at least, for December. But rest assured, I'm still going to do my best to try to get these videos up and out for you guys. If it's something that you guys enjoy watching, make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will uh, somewhat guarantee that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Somebody had also mentioned, too, and this is something that also that I can sort of get behind, if you will. They say that they aren't getting all the videos that I'm posting on a regular basis. They get one video and then a couple of videos will kind of slip through and then they may not see another video after that. What, what should they do? Well, I mean, you can hit the bell notification. That's some of a guarantee, but it still can mean that people hit the bell notifications and you're not getting 100% notified. Best advice I can give to you, friend, 
and I'm sorry I don't remember your name, um, is when you're finished checking out this video, swing on over to the main page. I've mentioned it before in previous videos and I'll mention it here as well. Swing on over to the home page and in the section that has all my videos, click on that and just scroll down all the thumbnails that are there. It's 100%, a 100% guarantee, although I'm sure it could still fall flat somehow, but for the most part, the 100% guarantee that if, the, if I have posted something, everything I've posted is there. So if you feel like in the, in the back of your mind, your gut is telling you, I feel like I missed this guy's video somewhere, what happened? Check over to the main page. It's your best 100% guarantee that you won't miss out on anything previously or future videos as well. And speaking of future videos, like I said, we're gonna try to do some more Christmas related stuff, even though we're kind of under the, we're down to the, like the last two days at the time I'm shooting this video. It's not a whole lot of time. If you guys still like Christmas related videos, there's gonna be a still a fair bit coming to this channel, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate it and I love reading your comments. I'll see you guys next time.